Another week, boys, and another twat. This week at Bungie, we look to the sky. Ever since this season began, the Almighty has been hurling through space on its collision course with Earth. The Cabal are not known for their graceful defeats. Every day we spend preparing our long lost Seraph to mount a response that derelict destroyer rockets ever closer to our home, spelling certain doom for the city. Rasputin is at full power. We're ready as we'll ever be. Now, eclipsing our own sun is a stark reminder that a great threat approaches. Eyes up. So yeah, guys, the Almighty is on its way. It's gonna take out Earth, the tower, everything you know. And you know what, fellas? I don't even care. You know, just maybe if the Almighty ran into the tower or maybe just ran into the Traveler, we might get some kind of spicy out of it, right? I mean, let's be real. We all wanna know what's inside the Traveler. Now, Bungie continues. What's next? Destiny has been a shared pastime for long enough now to have established some strong traditions. Each year we spend in service of the Guardians, we can mark our calendars by the next development milestone we'll reach or the next event will tend to spread the news. Some of us have had the remarkable privilege to travel the world and meet some of you fine people to talk about what comes next. This year finds us all in a scenario that puts us all very far away from business as usual. Basically, all flights originating from our tower are grounded. Development of Destiny 2 continues, only we are all working from the safety of our homes. We have exciting news to share with you about our plans, but it won't happen at some fancy convention under hot lights. Instead, we'll use the internet. If you're familiar with the rituals and cycles that mark a year in the life of a guardian, you must be curious as to when we'll begin a conversation about what is next. Can't put a date on it just yet, but we will very soon. That's a promise. We know you're hungry for that news, and we're just as eager to deliver it. Keep your eyes trained on Bungie for updates. We'll stream our announcements in the usual places. You'll learn about the next season of Destiny 2 at the same time that we talk about the next chapter in this story that has been unfolding all year long. All right, I guess just to sum it up, we'll know when we know. Diving deep in recent editions of This Week at Bungie, we've taken the cue directly from the community on what we should talk about. Our teaching has been focused on your feedback. Our words have been pointed toward what we plan to do to bring the game into alignment with what you've been talking about. With a summary of what we promised and some updates on our progress, here's production director Justin Truman. Justin, hey everybody. Five weeks ago, we promised a series of deep dives in the state of Destiny and how we plan to change it in Season 11 in Year 4. We've enlisted seven members of the Destiny team to provide as much detail as we could, and I've encouraged you to go back and read any of the topics you may have missed. This thing spanned from security, cheaters, seasons in Year 4, reducing FOMO, improving bounties, rewards, Eververse, Transmog, Max Power Levels, and Season 11 Redacted Ingrams, Reload Perks, and World-Based Loot. We've covered a lot of ground, and while we're going to continue to provide updates each week to topics you care about, we want to shift our focus in the coming weeks. We said a lot about changes coming in year four, but we haven't talked about how year four begins. Very soon, we'll do just that. I kicked off the series of deep dives with some promises, but I want to end this series on a more personal note. Being unable to go to the office, trying to figure out how to keep building this game we love from our laptops and our couches has had me thinking a lot about commitment. Video game development is messy. Evolving Destiny 2 and an open transparent way involves showing and shipping plenty of missteps along with the improvements but it continues to be worth it every step of the way because I can honestly say this is the most welcoming most passionate community of players I have ever encountered in any game aka guys Y'all bitch a little bit. You know, that's what he's trying to say. Let's just be real. It's okay, Justin. I'll say it for you. We do bitch a little bit. Some of it's rifle bitching. Other times, well, it's a little overboard, you know? We are quite passionate, though. We like gaming. We want the game to be good. I think what gets all of us, right, is we see the promised land, you know? You see the promised land. You know it could be amazing. But then on the way to the promised land, you just step in a load of shit. Just some horse shit right on the Oregon Trail. And you just step off in it and then this season, you, you kind of stepped in and then you fell in it and you rolled around in it. And whether it's COVID infused shit in the road or cheaters or lack of loot incentive, it's just a bunch of it. It's just a bunch of shit. And I know we get kind of passionate about our feedback, but I will say some of it is extremely rightful. Justin continues, we're committed to this game to staying transparent about our plants and to this relationship we have with our community. The reasons we started on this journey 10 years ago 
haven't changed. We've committed to building a world anyone can be a part of, where everyone can feel powerful, and where you might connect with old friends or make some new ones. So we look forward to continuing this conversation and continuing to evolve Destiny together. And in 12 days, we can't wait to show you more of what we've been working on. Stay safe out there, Guardians. All right, so some things to take away from this. There's been rumors here recently that Bungie was just kind of like bleeding Destiny and then they were just going to bleed it dry and then jump into Matter, which is the new IP that Bungie's working on. An extremely plausible rumor. All right, let's just be real. You got Christopher Barron and his boys, the guys that did Forsaken. He also did Rise of Iron. Needless to say, you got one of our aces working on another game. Now, I've got no control over this, fellas. I'm just the messenger here. But it did make a lot of us concerned. And from this comment right here, this is Bungie's way of saying that's not the case. They are, in fact, just as much committed to Destiny now as they were 10 years ago, which is nice to hear. But actions speak louder than words. And there is a host of shit that has occurred over the past season that I don't even want to remember. But in 12 days, which is essentially what's going to be starting off the new season, hopefully... All of these things will be fixed. I know that's a tall order. I mean, this list of things right here, that's a lot. And some of these things are going to be rolling out next season, throughout the season, and in September. The main thing is, like all expansions before the big fall expansion, if it is not successful, the fall expansion will suffer greatly. Remember, Shadowkeep only did as well as it did because of Season of Opulence. The same scenario here. Ready for prime time? Oh, yes, fellas. Look at Twitch Prime Rewards is back. You want some Prospector ornaments? Shabam. Got you an exotic sparrow. Mm-hmm. Look at that legendary ghost. Gotta say, fellas, pretty sexy. I know I got some new light players in the chat right now. Just losing it. They're like, oh my God. Now moving on. Seal the deal. The following season of the worthy seal pins are now available through Bungie Rewards. That's right, guys. You can buy the pin, the pins associated with those triumphs, those seals, almighty, flawless, conquer. If you want to get in on that, hang it up on your wall, pierce your nipple with one, or wherever the kids like to put it these days, go right ahead. Again, these seasonal triumphs will no longer be available to earn in-game. Bam. Might want to get on those. I know we touched on a few things last week that are also leaving. The quests especially are the big ones, right? Fourth Horseman, Fell Winter. You definitely want to hit those quests up, guys, before the season is over with. Now, before I let you go from Deej, he states, don't call it a twop. I've been here for years. Sure, DMG and Cosmo own this beat, but I wanted to take a shift. I'd love to be dusting off my travel luggage right about now. I'll miss seeing your faces and making new connections out there in the world. That will happen again. For now, the traditions that shape what makes a guardian a guardian year after year must be obeyed. We're firing all our cannons very soon. We hope you'll be around to enjoy the fireworks. Deej out. All righty. Fellas, this twop did not hold a lot. That's not the fault of Deed or DMG or Cosmo, so please don't direct any hate at those guys. Here's the reality. This list right here, this little list, or what it, what seems to be a little list, is actually a ginormous list. That first line right there, though, security, cheaters, that whole twab that was dedicated to talking about them, as well as trial incentives, that is a huge one to me, and it should be a big one to you. Because now that Destiny is a free-to-play game, now that we got new light players in here, people are just making burn accounts and cheating actively, don't think cheating in Destiny stops at PvP because it doesn't. Before you know it, there's going to be active cheats for PvE. And you may even see Worlds First possibly being a team of cheaters. Just imagine, you got a team of cheaters, they're constantly reviving themselves over and over again, bypassing raid encounters that way, and completely destroying the raid. We haven't had this issue before, or at least not to my knowledge. The reason why this wasn't that big of an issue is because Destiny wasn't free to play here on PC. And by the time it became free to play last October, most of the people that were active actively cheating on those new light accounts, well, they weren't up to snuff yet. They didn't have the levels, didn't have everything there to allow them to jump in there and start doing crazy cheats. So just know, guys, even if you are a PvE-only player, cheaters in this game is something that's going to face all of us. I wish Bungie was talking about it more because it is such a big issue. When you've got folks like this with over a 3,000 KD actively playing the game and not getting banned, there's something wrong. Something has to be done. I think many of us are kind of like throwing this season under the rub. We're like, all right, all the bad, might as well just get it out the way right now. Just, just 
go ahead. If you're going to be shit, get it all out right now in this season. But starting next season, this list of items, especially starting with cheaters, loot incentives, rewards, Eververse, all those things, that is such a major issue that is going to have to be dealt with and dealt with not mid-season 11, but right at the beginning of season 11, maybe even end of season 10. Like I would actually prefer starting to see some of these anti-cheats and updates rolling out the week before season 11 actually launches. But there's got to be some updates pushed out beforehand, some good faith updates that Bungie pushes out before you really start to see some major hype for season 11. Now, granted, the almighty could completely slam into the traveler next week. All hell breaks loose. Pyramid ships drop in out of nowhere. Master Chief comes out of the main pyramid ship and is the main antagonist for Destiny 3? Look, there's a lot that can happen in a week. But as crazy as all of that sounds, at least it's something. And right now, we need something, okay? Almighty in the sun hurling toward us at like 15 miles per hour. Look, don't be nerdy with me, man. Don't tell me how fast the Almighty's actually moving. Don't give me that shit. I'm trying to make it funny about it moving slower than a golf cart. And it's a great analogy for the season. Load up Destiny 2 right now, stare into the sun, and just watch the Almighty. Ask yourself how excited you are watching the Almighty. Now understand, that's the equivalent of the excitement that season 10 generated. Yeah. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.